Hello everyone. For the speech this time, we are given three quotes by the professor. We need to choose one quote from three of them. So the first one is knowing others is wisdom, but knowing yourself is enlightenment from Lao Tzu. The second one is do or do not. There is no try from Yoda. The last one is be a yardstick of quality. Some people are not used to an environment where excellence is ex expected from Steve Jobs. So I choose the first one, which is the one from Lao Tzu. And now I'll start to prepare for my speech. Okay, so as human beings, we normally know what others are capable of according to their personalities or the way they act. However, there's only a few people who have the ability to get to know what they really are deep in mind. So first, we need to be objective about ourselves. In real lives, we're often influenced by what we are in others' eyes. For example, if one person says you're not good at soccer, then you might think it's nothing. However, if a hundred people say that you're, you're, you're just not good at soccer, then you might think it is true that you're just not able to play it well. Because we have bias, we have bias on ourselves. An image created by others about us has has already influenced us. But be careful. That's often not the case. There should not be any anyone knows our, knows ourselves better than better than us. Second, we need to not we need to not be influenced by other by our personalities. 
For example, a confident person might think that he's able to do anything or he's able to conquer any difficulty. However, that's not true. An inverse case will be an, an, an unconfident person might think that he, he, he is not able to do anything. That's also not true. In most of the cases, we need to eliminate the, the factors caused by our personalities and find out what we really are. To sum up, we need to be objective as well as not influenced by our personalities. Because remember, there's one saying from Lao Tzu, knowing others is wisdom, but knowing yourself is enlightenment. Thank you.